my last LA City Council member and board member, uh, Paul Kokorian, if he would come forward, he represents the San Fernando Valley. He has much to say. Let's hear him now. Mr. Council. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. You know, uh, a momentous anniversary like this is a great opportunity to both look to the past and look to the future. And I think it's appropriate that we do that today. You know, when my mom was growing up right here in this area in the San Fernando Valley, uh, most of what was around us was orange groves. Now it's the orange line. Um, when she would travel around Los Angeles, right down this right of way, she would ride the red car to that historic North Hollywood Depot that you just mentioned, Supervisor Kuehl. Um, and we had a robust transit system here in the valley that worked for people, uh, that got them where they needed to go. And then we know that when I was growing up, uh, that was essentially dismantled and the San Fernando Valley developed a reputation as being entirely car dependent. We became the center for car culture in America, the hot rod culture, uh, the legendary traffic on the freeway is all of the car commuting. That was the identity that the San Fernando Valley gained during that time. Then. Supervisor Yaroslavsky said, we need a transit backbone through this part of the San Fernando Valley. And there were those who stood in the way of that. This was originally supposed to be an extension of the red line. Um, there wasn't the funding to do that. Then there were those, Senator Robbins leading among them, who stood in the way of doing anything here uh, because of neighborhood concerns and so on. But it was really Zev Yaroslavsky who figured out we have to have transit through this corridor. There's a way that we can do it. And the way to do it was this, the orange line that we have all enjoyed since then because of his leadership and his willingness to stand up and make this happen. And so Zev, I think more than anyone, we owe you a great debt of gratitude for making this happen. And it has succeeded famously, beyond all expectations from the first day, uh, we've exceeded all ridership uh, ex expectations. So in many ways, the Orange Line has already put the lie to the stereotype. The Valley wants transit. The Valley will take transit. The Valley will get out of our cars and we will ride rail, we will ride buses, if you bring it to us and make it work, if you make it easy and fast and convenient, the Valley will get out of their cars and will take transit. And let me tell you, the entire rest of the county and its system will benefit from having that infrastructure investment right here in the San Fernando Valley, home of two million people who can ride the rest of our system throughout once it's, it's built. So that brings us to the future. Right now, as, as several of my colleagues on the board have mentioned, we're taking immediate steps to improve capacity and to improve speed on the Orange Line. And we're grateful to Assemblymember Nazarian for his leadership in the state legislature and getting us authority for the double articulated buses. But he also did another thing. He once and for all got rid of that horrible Senator Robbins driven restriction that prohibited us from even considering having rail on this line. That is out the window, the governor signed that bill, and now we can actually get to work on what was originally planned for this uh, corridor, which is rail through this part of the San Fernando Valley. So that is something that we're pushing for. I believe it's the future of this line. And to get that done, folks, we're gonna need your full-throated support of the next sales tax measure that comes before you to fund transit infrastructure in the San Fernando Valley. So your support of this measure will mean billions and billions of dollars of investment right here in the Valley. We must not let that opportunity pass us by or else we will we will have the status quo for the rest of our lifetime. But all the projects Sheila mentioned, we have an opportunity to make that happen right now with an extension and expansion of Measure R. So I urge you to, to, to support this when it comes before us. All of us 
are going to ensure that that measure, as you just heard from our chairman and from Supervisor Kuehl and from the mayor, all of us are committed to ensuring that that measure will include substantial investment in the San Fernando Valley. We will make sure that we will not get shorted again. The San Fernando Valley will get its share of transportation infrastructure uh, investment through the next measure R. So, uh, so I want to thank you all very much for being out here today. Thank you for your support of the Orange Line, and thank you for your support of the next step in moving the valley forward in its transit future.